present to you about youth and culture under the theme of how to generate well-being people. Firstly, I'm Tan Si Hong, and this is my co-presenter, Amza Rin Urzai. Right. Now, what do you know about youth? Youth is a time of life between childhood and adulthood. This is where children are beginning to become matured in changes in the forms of physical and internally, and to feeling and much more. Okay. okay, then what is culture? Culture is something or tradition which has been inherited by our past ancestors, which we will practically uh, practically use it in our daily life. Like I'm Chinese, so I'll respect my culture. Like during Chinese New Year, we couldn't sweep the floor because we bring back luck. Okay. Then I'll explain is what is youth and culture. Youth and culture is different than youth culture. Youth and culture means it's a sum of ways of an adolescent living in our world right now. It's like they have created a new culture, like break dance, hip hop, and much more. This shows that youth is a generator to unity. Okay, so there are a few ways we can generate unity. First way is through international student exchange program. From this program, this is a program that where government or non government they send students from secondary or university to overseas to <coughs> study their culture and their lifestyle there so that they can bring back to Malaysia and they can learn and they can show to the students around the Malaysia. They can ungain many benefits from it, such as understanding their cultural, then getting memorable experiences such as like you went to Japan, you can go for a uh, snow slide, or maybe you can go see the panorama of the sakura tree. Then you will get training and employment from there too. Okay, what do you know about music? Music is everything right now. Without music, our life is like a mistake. Because Music gives us calmness, inspiration, and much more. This helps us give ideas, even it helps us to be disciplined, skill improvement, cooperation, and teamwork. Why do I say it gives you discipline? Say, as for example, Super Junior, one of the best K pop in the world right now, which the latest song is Mr. Simple. You can see how their cooperation, their teamwork, everything is through these pictures. You can see they are very uniform. How they could do this by discipline. Through discipline, they need to have to be punctual to, to come to dance classes and everything. So this helps them to be more disciplined, and their teamwork will be more strong. Okay, so there's a question here: Who watched the Korean song video clip? You can see through this pie chart, the races which are mostly from Europeans who watch this song video clip. Then genders are mostly female. Most of you really love K-pop, right? Okay. Then at the age of youth. Okay. <coughs> the third way is through social networking. There are a lot of social networking <coughs> around nowadays. <coughs> Facebook, Twitter, even Skype, Twitter, YouTube, and much more. You can gain a lot of information from there too. Like, you can have overseas friends, you can get their culture, you can change ideas, you can even change your mind, your status or whatever. Okay, you can see here, this is a table where Facebook users are mostly at the age of youth. Where you can see Indonesia is 44.55% and other people in Malaysia also mostly youth are using Facebook. <coughs> this shows that information can be changed, ideas, cultures can be changed to Facebook. 
So you are one that generates it. They always change ideas and some some other things. So now I'd like to call upon my co-presenter Amdar to explain more about our presentation. Assalamualaikum. Good morning. I would like to continue our presentation with the point sport. Sport has been bringing people from all around the country since we reached the Olympic Games in Greece many years ago. So, how does sport unite us humans? Sport can unite us by the communication between team members and coach. Even if you are playing alone, chances that you would have a coach beside you. This communication is important as it can lead to trust your to trust your team members. Okay. Next. Can anyone please tell me who was in the first picture? The first picture is Roger Federer. What I want to show you is the discipline in him. In order to become Traditional festival, what will you wear? You wear your baju melayu. On that time, you can 
appreciate your own uh, traditional clothes, everything. So it doesn't mean that nowadays fashion exactly killed the olden fashion. problem to most of the days where people don't have awareness. People should have awareness about that to be, uni to be united, we must have awareness among each other. We must respect the other culture. We must try no matter what. If we didn't try, how do we know that we can accept that? We must have awareness. Huh?